Ooh. Okay, look at this bump. This baby is sitting so low. Wow. Look at the bump. She's pregnant. Ooh. So much has happened since you guys have last seen me. I'm ready to tell it all. Obviously, I'm pregnant again. We are pregnant with baby number two. This was totally unplanned. And matter of fact, I plan to update you guys on how my pregnancy is going and all of that good stuff in a very um, upcoming future video. Let's see, I got diagnosed with hyperemesis, gravidarum. All three of us, including our toddler, had COVID and I almost died. Not to sound dramatic, but I literally almost died. We moved out of our haunted house <laughs> and um, we've been doing a lot of um, adjusting and there's been a lot of life changes going on. So girls, sit back, relax, and let's get into this tea because it, it, it's a lot, okay? <sighs> this is the first time that I have looked this put together since our pregnancy announcement shoot, which was a month ago at this point. Prior to that, I have not put on any makeup. I haven't gotten dressed in like three months, like really before I found out I was pregnant again. You guys, I have been so incredibly sick. I'm not anymore, thank God. And again, I'll catch you guys up on all of that a little bit later. But um, man, being that sick and not being able to get out of the bed for a literal three weeks. I was in the bed for three weeks. A lot of those days, it was so hard for me to just get up and do simple stuff like take showers and brush my teeth and i know that sounds a little bit gross but when you have hyperemesis gravidarum i don't know if any of you guys have ever been through that or experienced that yourself but it is a nightmare you literally have zero energy you're so weak you can't put anything in your mouth like your saliva makes you sick that's how sick you are <sighs> I finally feel good. I finally feel beautiful again. Um, and the only reason why I kind of held on to like a sliver of my self-esteem, truly, honestly, you guys, is because of my jewelry. <laughs> so you guys know that I am an Ana Luisa brand ambassador and this video is in partnership with Ana Luisa. And I just have to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to them because listen, when I don't feel my best, when I feel like, you know, I don't look put together or when my hair, or my makeup isn't done, or, you know, if I'm just simply still in my robe or my pajamas or whatever, the fact that I always have on my Ana Luisa jewelry makes me feel like a woman still. And I didn't really realize how deep it is to wear you know these kind of like dainty pieces of jewelry all the time until i got sick if you go back and watch some of my previous videos you'll see that i always 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 keep on my anna luisa bracelets and i just recently got two new ones that i am so obsessed with hopefully you are familiar with anna luisa jewelry by now but if you're not let me put you up on game girl they create sustainable, high quality pieces. You guys, these pieces are so high quality at incredibly affordable prices, starting at only $39. They have something for everyone, you guys. Matter of fact, every time someone's birthday rolls around in my life, my go-to is to always gift them with Ana Luisa, some type of Ana Luisa piece based off of what they personally like. They're high quality, sustainable, they care about the earth, and I am just so in love with every single piece that I receive from them. We're still in the process of, you know, unpacking and organizing from our move, so I can't show you guys the earrings I received from Ana Luisa last month yet. As soon as we're done unpacking all the way, <laughs> I will show you guys that piece that I received on my Insta stories. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram and if you are interested in any of Ana Luisa's amazing pieces, I will have a few of my favorites 
in the description box below and if you are really wanting to shop in Louisa make sure you use my coupon code Larissa 10 which will get you 10% off of your entire in Louisa order I am just so glad that I am feeling better looking better and I am just so excited to not be as sick as I was you guys because I really did not think I was gonna make it out alive my first trimester was oh my gosh but again i'm gonna do a first trimester recap for you guys because i absolutely love watching those kind of videos and so i feel like maybe sharing my experience with you all or just with the world in general might help another woman who may be going through that or you know if you plan on getting pregnant in the future i don't know it might help i was kind of afraid to share this publicly but it is a reality for so many women not just myself and I had a really hard time kind of you know working and sorting through the feelings that I was having in the beginning but I feel like now that you know I've worked through that with the Lord and with my family I can finally share comfortably if it's going to help someone else so i will say that i was not excited when i found out that we were pregnant with our second child by the way if you don't know we have a daughter her name is elora and she will be three in december so we are gonna have a newborn and a newly three-year-old in february and um i'm not sure if i said this already or not but i don't really feel comfortable sharing how far along i am when it comes to the week by week thing just because when i did that with my first pregnancy I got a lot of judgment and criticism from just random people on the internet. Not so much you guys. Um, and especially with this pregnancy, because I am a lot bigger this time around, I just, I want to protect my peace and, you know, my mental space as much as I can so I'm just gonna stay away from sharing exactly how far along I am I just cannot believe the amount of audacity that some women have to ask another woman how far along she is and then judge her for how big or small her bump is or just how she looks physically you know what I mean I don't know I am just I'm not with that so you know so yeah anyway <laughs> yeah y'all i was not happy or excited when i found out i was pregnant and i'm gonna share exactly how i found out and my exact reaction in my first trimester recap so make sure you stay tuned for that me and god tussled for a while with this because he knew that me getting pregnant right now was not in the cards for me, I mean, when it comes to my timeline and what I wanted and, you know, what my husband and I wanted together, we were doing everything we could to prevent this from happening. And obviously the Lord wanted it to manifest, which is why I'm pregnant now. Um, but this wasn't in my plan. We weren't planning to have another baby until Elora was at least five years old but since then this whole experience in general has taught me that god's timing is perfect and that you know as much as we think we know best we don't so i just want to encourage you guys if you are going through something or if something in your life isn't going exactly how you planned it to go or you know if something comes down the pipeline or has come down the pipeline for you and you know you didn't necessarily want it to happen when it did just trust and believe that God's timing is perfect he knows best he knows what he's doing he is sovereign okay and everything every single thing is working out for your good okay it is so now that i have come to terms with that uh we are pretty excited um i don't plan on having another baby so this is the second and the last okay because i'm not going through this anymore okay so i am just really trying to 
enjoy this pregnancy and you know just the season as much as possible no matter what my fears are and you know what my nerves tell me I'm just really trying to enjoy it Ooh, okay so a couple of weeks after we found out that we're pregnant again we all tested positive for COVID. So our daughter tested positive first. And I knew that she was sick because she was vomiting blood. And I'm just going through all of this just in case you have little ones or a toddler. And you know, you don't know what those symptoms are or you know, what to look out for when it comes to COVID in small people, you know? So she woke up one day, had a fever, she was vomiting blood and she vomited blood twice. And I was like, okay, that's it. We're calling the pediatrician. I don't know what the heck is going on. Actually, the thing that made me call the pediatrician was the fact that she was vomiting blood, but she also had a super bloody nose. And anytime she's been sick before, you know, she will vomit once or twice in the morning. That would be that. She would have a low grade fever. Her nose would be snotty, but never any blood right so when her nose started bleeding it's, it was like somebody turned on a, a faucet I was like I mean just seeing your child like that is the absolute worst feeling as a mother so I called the pediatrician um, we took her in she got tested for COVID and the flu and as we were leaving the pediatrician's office the nurse came running out. We were literally in the car. Um, she came running out and told us that Laura did test positive for COVID. And so my mind already went to a dark place because I'm like, great, if she has COVID, then we're definitely gonna get COVID because she's our child, you know? So the next day, the very next day after Laura tested positive for COVID, I got sick. And I just remember progressively getting worse as the day went on and by the time four or five o'clock hit I had to go to the hospital because I was just so sick I literally could not move I had the worst migraine the body aches I don't know if you guys have had COVID before but I just pray that if you haven't that you like I literally would not wish this on my worst enemy it was so bad you guys Elliot had to literally drag me out of the bed because I couldn't walk I was in so much pain mind you I'm pregnant in my first trimester diagnosed with hyperemesis so I already can't keep anything down I can't drink I can't eat I can barely stand up so just having COVID on top of all of that <sighs> my mother-in-law took me to the hospital and to keep a long story short, the hospital confirmed that I did have COVID and there wasn't much they could do for me, but my breathing and the fever and the chills, the pain, everything was just, it was awful. And I was in so much pain to the point where I was begging them to give me pain medicine. Okay, they gave me Toradol, they gave me morphine. I'm pregnant in my first trimester. That's how much pain I was in. None of it worked. So essentially I took all of that medicine for nothing. I just laid there in pain and agony and asked the Lord to take care of my two babies, my child and my husband because I was done. I'm like, okay, Jesus, crack the sky. I don't wanna be here no more. That's how, like, oh my God, oh my God. And the crazy thing is the doctor who treated me while I was in the hospital told me that if I was not vaccinated, there was a high chance that I could have died that day. And I'm smiling about it now because I'm just so grateful to God that I was able to get through it. <sighs> but I was not smiling at the time, okay? <clears throat> one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> I am in so much pain and I can't do anything about it. 
and I just I can't do it for three more days. Like somebody do a break. Maria, you have a call on 72, Maria 72. In my head. <laughs> and somebody is stabbing my lower body. <laughs> I'm begging all of you guys. If it means saving lives, go get vaccinated. <laughs> Elliot was so sick. I have never seen him that sick before. And he had to take care of me. He had to take care of Valora. He had to take care of himself. I don't think he ate for an entire week straight. Like, we were just all in the bed barely surviving and i am just so 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 grateful for our community our church family our friends everybody who just pitched in and helped out while we were that sick like we we couldn't have gotten through it without them so your tribe matters your community matters and um if you don't have a strong community i encourage you to pray and ask the lord to give you community because that's where we thrive. So yeah, that was, um, that was, that was really difficult. Um, I'd even go as far to say that that was the hardest thing that I probably have ever gone through in my life. And I'm just so happy that I am not in that place anymore. So then after we got through the whole COVID thing, we had to move. Now, Elliot and I do plan on doing a whole podcast episode around this whole house nightmare, this renting a haunted house nightmare. I don't know, I'm gonna just call it a haunted house because that's exactly what it was. Renting the house that we were in was the worst experience. As a family, I guess you can say it was really horrible and we do plan to go into detail about everything in our podcast okay so if you are not subscribed to the on air podcast i will link our youtube channel because we're about to start putting our podcast on youtube and i'm so excited about it i'll also have the link to spotify apple music google play just anywhere where the podcast is i guess but yes we are finally out of that haunted house in a new home and we are so at peace. I am so in love with our new space. And I am so excited to decorate for fall. So get ready for the decorate with me's because they're coming. And I just feel like I can finally exhale, you know? One thing about me, I do not play about my peace being robbed. And that's exactly what that house did. It robbed me of my piece, not just of mine, but my entire family's and I, I don't play that. So we had to get on up out of there. But again, I will tell you, we will tell you everything in the upcoming podcast episode. Okay, so for the ones who asked me some questions over on Instagram, um, after we shared our pregnancy announcement, I put a Q&A box up. I'm going to answer your questions really, really quickly, and then um, I got to go because Elora is sick again, and I have to take care of my baby girl. Okay, uh, let's see. Will you guys still be moving now or expanding into something bigger? So I just answered that question. We have moved, and we did not move into something bigger. We're actually in a season of just downsizing and... Um, decluttering and stillness. That's the best way I can describe it. We're in a season of stillness and moving into our new home allowed us to downsize and, you know, just slow down and enjoy this season for what it is. And I'm very, very happy about it. <laughs> it's like, well, wow, who knew that downsizing could 
do this for your mental health, you know? Someone asked, how did you know that this is what you're called to do? So I'm assuming you mean um, creating content, blogging, being on YouTube and um, social media in general. That's a good question. I don't think I actually like had a light bulb moment per se. Um, one thing about me, I'm going to keep doing things until the Lord confirms it through my peace and through how it glorifies him and the kingdom, if that makes any sense. So essentially, I kind of knew that this is something that I'm called to do. Like my, it's, it's part of my assignment. So I wouldn't say that this is my calling per se, but this is definitely something that I am assigned to do in this season of my life for however long, you know, the Lord allows me to continue to do this. Ah, man, I actually just wrote something in my notes about your gifts and talents, glor using your gifts and talents that the Lord gave you to glorify him. So if you're not putting your gifts or your talents to use, to glorify God and to expand the kingdom of God, then what the heck do you have them for? And so I knew that this was something that the Lord has called me to do in this season of my life because they glorify him, um, they expand his kingdom, there's righteousness, joy, and peace there. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. Um, it's very lucrative, so it contributes to my desire to um, pass down generational wealth to my family and um, to give to more people. I'm a huge giver, so financially it allows me to do that. And um, yeah, I'm just super duper grateful that the Lord even allowed me to have this platform so that I can do everything that I'm doing to glorify him. So I hope that answered your question. Can you share what supplements that you've been taking so far in your pregnancy? So I plan to go more in depth about this in my first trimester recap, but really quickly from the top of my head, of course I'm taking my prenatals. I've been taking the Ollie prenatals, the gummy kind that tastes like Sour Patch. And I was actually taking a liquid prenatal before I started taking the Ollie ones, but the Ollie ones were the only ones that I could literally keep down. Any other prenatal that I've tried to take would just come right back up. So I take the Ollie prenatals. I take a liquid iron supplement that has been helping me tremendously. And again, I'll share what they look like and the exact ones in my first trimester recap. My midwife has me on baby aspirin, CoQ10, and something else. I don't remember. But again, I'll explain all that in the future video. No question, I was about to reach out and check on you and your fam, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I went ghost on all of my social media platforms as soon as I found out I was pregnant because like a week after I found out, that's when the hyperemesis hit me and I, I couldn't function. So social media was the last thing on my mind, okay? How are you feeling? Nervous, excited? <sighs> I have a lot of emotions when it comes to this pregnancy. I am nervous, I am excited, um, but in a way I'm kind of like nonchalant because this isn't my first pregnancy. And this pregnancy is so much different than my pregnancy with Elora. It's crazy. And I think just being pregnant with your subsequent children kind of, I don't want to say it takes the excitement out of it, but you're not as crazy, you know, like over preparing and doing all of these things for, I don't know, maybe you are, but I, I I'm just a whole lot more chill this time. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are so many congratulation messages in here. You guys are the sweetest. Thank you guys so much. Are you hoping for a boy or a girl? We are definitely hoping for a boy because like I said, this is my last pregnancy. I ain't doing this no more. And I feel like a boy will just really complete our family. We will be over the moon, excited for either or, but if this baby is a girl and we don't end up having our boy, um, we're either going to adopt or, you know, if Elliot wants to go the surrogate route, then we can do that. But um, as far as me carrying 
more babies that's not happening just because pregnancy is so hard on me and my body and my emotions and my mental like I I just can't go through what I went through again you know what I mean my pregnancy with the Lord was bad but this was on a whole nother level. So I'm like, look, if it progressively keeps getting worse, then this has to be my last rodeo because absolutely not. Oh, everybody keeps saying something tells me it's a boy. I seen the blue heart. I hope it's a boy. So we actually find out next week. So the Juniper reveal is coming. How is it being pregnant with a toddler? <sighs> it's been pretty difficult, but it hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. Elora is so, so, so excited to be a big sister. She loves her baby sibling already. Every day she sees my belly and she'll come running and give it a hug and a kiss and she'll say baby and, you know, just play around with my tummy. She's very involved and very helpful already and so i am just i cannot wait to see her as a big sister you guys she really is already the best big sister and when the baby comes it's 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 gonna be cute i can't wait but as far as like being physically pregnant with a toddler it's very difficult um because i'm not that sick anymore most days i actually forget that i'm pregnant because of how active i am with Alora. um and honestly, it can be super duper draining. I'm already tired as it is because pregnancy is tiring. But when you add that to chasing around a wild two-year-old all day, it's just... Ooh. Okay, this is the last question that I'm going to answer. And it says, how are you doing in general? I'm doing a lot better now, thankfully. Um, if you were to ask me that two months ago... <laughs> It would have been a completely different answer okay i feel like i finally have my peace back um and i kind of say that hesitantly because i the, the lord is taking me on this journey about what peace and joy and all of the fruits of the spirit actually are but specifically peace and joy what they really are and what they really mean and one thing that I've learned is that peace is not defined by our outside circumstances. Our circumstances, you know, the situations going on around us can certainly add to our peace or take away from it. And a lot of the things that I was experiencing were definitely like taken away from my peace. They weren't adding to it. But now that I'm in a better headspace and my environment plays a huge part in my peace and how I feel internally so now that we're out of that toxic toxic environment um things have been a whole lot better I'm okay I'm, I'm doing good Ooh, okay I feel like I've been running my mouth for an hour if you want to keep up with me and my journey make sure you subscribe to the channel and that you follow me on all of my social media outlets I would greatly appreciate it there's been a lot of changes going on like internally and so I have no choice but to reflect that in my content so there's a lot of new fresh good content coming up I am so excited to be back for my break and to not be sick anymore so it's gonna be good it's gonna be good also let me remind you again to make sure that you check the description box if you're interested in any of the Anna Luisa pieces that I'm wearing that I continuously wear everything will be linked down there for you and again if you use the coupon code Larissa 10 you can receive 10% off of your order thank you guys for hanging out with me and just simply for being here and supporting me and for not leaving me <laughs> after this three month hiatus that I've been on and I cannot wait to talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.